How important is Yellowstone National Park? It has the distinction of being the world's first national park. Yellowstone National Park kicked off what's aptly known as America's Greatest Idea. It's also the title of the great Ken Burns documentary. It was the first place set aside solely for the people. It's public land set aside for you, me, your family, friends, and those who will come in the future generations behind us. In this video, I'm going to show you what Yellowstone National Park has to offer. And to see why you, as well as your family, should consider Yellowstone National Park as a vacation option. Stay tuned. Hello YouTube, my name is Jeff and welcome to the Road March Project. Today I wanted to give you a rundown of Yellowstone National Park. Every year millions of visitors come from around the world to see the many geothermal wonders, the wildlife, the waterfalls, the historic structures, lakes, and other diverse collections of trees and plants. The park is in the center of Greater Yellowstone Ecosystem, one of the largest of its kind. In the halls of the Congress building in 1872, the United States Congress convened to approve the Yellowstone National Park Protection Act, later signed by President Ulysses S. Grant, the first such bill of its kind. Yellowstone was the first piece of public land in any nation set aside for the people. Yellowstone lies in northwestern Wyoming with small portions, I believe the most famous and recognizable attraction at Yellowstone is Old Faithful Geyser. When I was a kid, Old Faithful was added to my bucket list when I read about geysers in my social studies book. The frequency of Old Faithful Geyser eruptions is approximately every 90 minutes, hence the name Old Faithful. You would know when the eruptions are coming because everyone began gathering around Old Faithful. The average height of the eruptions are approximately 130 feet. The eruptions last one to five minutes and the geyser expel 3,700 to 8,400 gallons of water. I finally experienced Old Faithful in June of 2015. Believe you me, it's truly a wonder to see. While you're in the vicinity of Old Faithful, head to Old Faithful Inn. You can't miss it. It's a huge hotel made of logs. It's one of the last of those historic, those old historic frontier log structures. The Old Faithful Inn was built during the winter of 1905 and 1904. Now Yellowstone winters are notoriously br brutal, along with the fact that it was built around the turn of the 20th century, so there was not much technology. I'm not sure how many men it took to construct the building. This is an amazing feat. It was cozy and quaint in there during my visit. From there, I urge you to tour the Upper Geyser Basin. This contained a number of smaller geysers along with the hot springs. Just follow the boardwalk and then follow it along the loop. Be sure to check out the Rainbow Pool. Another iconic wonder at Yellowstone is the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Like the Grand Canyon, it's a massive deep canyon. Except here, at the end, there's a huge magnificent waterfall. 
What I loved about this attraction are the points where you can get excellent photos that are easily accessible. Also, there's Ma Mammoth Hot Springs in the northern section of the park. The Mammoth Hot Springs are an incredible attraction, but the only thing I struggled with is the stench of sulfur. Now the sulfur smell is throughout the entire park, especially at the upper geyser basin as well. To me, the sulfur smell was very pungent at the Mammoth Hot Springs. Please don't let me deter you from experience Mammoth Springs and the hike around the entire springs as well. It's very picturesque. The wildlife is plentiful. Yellowstone has a diverse array of wildlife. There are a multitude of species of birds, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. Yellowstone National Park is a huge habitat for these animals. I remember first entering the park and seeing a herd of bison grazing in the basin. I've seen bears, the black bears, not grizzly bears. I've seen eagles and falcons. There are some dangerous wildlife throughout the park. And I don't have to tell you that it's extremely important that you stay at a safe distance from the animals. There are a few apex predators roaming throughout Yellowstone as well. I didn't get a chance to see any wolves while I was there. They were not in the mood to have their pictures taken when I was there. But the next time I'm there, I will get a picture. I promise you that. Plants and trees are plentiful. In fact, 80% of the park is covered in forest. All your pine, fir, spruce trees are in Yellowstone and that despite a major forest fire that raised the park a few decades ago. Lodgepole pine is dominant throughout the park. To me the park has that classic evergreen tree forest look that are prominent in northern states. The name Yellowstone has again come to prominence over the last year because of a popular TV series. It's the first national park in the world and it's iconic. I went there on a normal week in the summer of 2015 and there was a huge line waiting to get inside the park. I've been in similar situations going into other parks and I didn't have to wait at all. Yellowstone is just that special. Are you looking to visit Yellowstone? Have you been to Yellowstone? Let me know your thoughts and leave a comment. Again, also don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Again, thank you for watching and have a great day.